Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's going on people, back with a bang. Here I am to bring you guys another video today. So this week and last week, the past couple weeks have been some of my best trading weeks this year. Absolutely legendary. We've been eating well. Swinging, AMD, Toll Brothers, Netflix, QQQ, Fubo, Abercrombie & Fitch, you name it, we've been killing it. So in today's video, the aim is to go over those trades, but also talk about different stocks to watch. As you can see, I'm back from vacation. And if you haven't seen the last two videos, go check that out. Had a lot of fun, had a good time. I definitely recommend you guys take a vacation and a break once in a while. It's definitely good for you. Now, as you can see, I'm back into the recording. Still trading, have been trading. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the markets, how they fared recently, my expectations going to tomorrow, next week. Also, just some stocks to watch, what we've been trading in the Discord, you know, the way we've been making money in the Discord. I'll be talking about that as well. And of course, some tips, tricks, insights into how to trade this market right now. So, to start off with, I wanna point out that overall with the markets, We've been pretty bullish. So when the market does pull back, as it did today, you are gonna see a lot of heavy selling pressure. So like I said, you know, I'm gonna pull up Yahoo Finance just to show you guys kind of what we've been looking at, what we've been seeing in the market. As you can see, NASDAQ leads stock slide as Wall Street braces for power speech. So we're gonna kind of find out how deeply the feds are gonna cut rates. Expectations are 25 or 50 basis points, I'm thinking. But let's look at the markets. We've also got Jackson Hole speech tomorrow, by the way. So I have Exxon on the screen. Um, you can see it's kind of trading this range, but that is not actually the stock we're gonna be talking about to begin with. So for the S&P 500 index, let's have a look at this. You can see we sold off today, we sold off heavily, but this is what I love about the market. Looking at a 50 minute chart and scrolling back, you can see we've been trending upwards, right? If you look at SPY, SPY, Again, trending upwards recently, just before today's heavy sell-off. But look at this yesterday. We were down here, and then we started up trending. Why, you may ask? Because the unemployment numbers were revised. I think they were revised by about 838,000. That was the number, which is a crazy number, by the way. One of the biggest numbers, I think, since 2009, so in 15 years. But it saw the market rise, so it just reminds me you can't trust the government. So look at QQQ. Sort of heavily today. Let me, let me pull up the one-day one chart. We're still bullish, zoom out. You see, we're clearly bullish with QQQ. We were down at 432 two weeks ago. Now we're up at 474. I can't complain. This is a very clearly bullish pattern, a very, very clearly bullish chart. But we are gonna have pullbacks. Look, same with SPX, we've got a pullback. There is gonna be selling pressure when the markets do rally. It's completely normal. You gotta remember, we were very overbought in a short period of time. We had a nice uptrend, but now we're pulling on back. Let's look at the semiconductor, so AMD, pulled on back today. But the funny thing with AMD is, if you look at the four hour chart, we see a very nice uptrend. I'm actually gonna pull up my trade that I took of AMD this week, 155 calls, and I did swing those, and they did bring me crazy returns, which I'm gonna pull up on screen for you. But my point with this is, there's enough money to be made to the upside and downside. You saw two, three days in a row, it was clearly bullish. But if you look at the 50 minute chart, and you can see it clearly, more clearly on the uh, four hour chart and one hour charts. There was a double top. Four hour chart doesn't really show, but you can kind of see it. One hour chart shows that level that we could not break above around 162 before we fell back down. And we've dropped about $10 since. So you can make money to the upside and downside. We called puts in the Discord. We said AMD looks very bearish. AMD looks like it's going to drop. And that was around 158. Lo and behold, it dropped to low, below 152. Nvidia did the same thing up from 130. Not as drastic a drop, but still dropped all the way down to 124. TSM pulled on back as well. All the semiconductors sold off today. All of them pulled on back. Nothing wrong with that. They've been bullish. Now, look at Target. Target had earnings and rallied. By the way, Nvidia has earnings next week as well, so we'll see their quarterly report. But let me pull up the five minute chart for Target. You can see how drastically this reversed from 160 all the way down to 156, which we kind of pulled back to that level a few times today. But we dropped drastically. Snowflake also had earnings, sold off 14% today. Crazy drop from Snowflake. It suffered. Look at the one hour chart. We pulled on back all the way back to where we were. You know, we were at 137. We pulled on back to 115 where we were beginning of August. 
Some of these stocks are selling off and you can make money on the puts. If you don't know what puts are, it's shorting a stock. Again, go check out the Stock Option Starter Pack. So Snow obviously has a lot of upside, but we need to wait for it to reverse and get confirmation of the uptrend. Again, markets overall are still bullish, so nothing really to worry about or panic about. This is just a discount for Snowflake right now. Now I'll show you some of the stocks that we did swing in the Discord. I'll start with Abercrombie & Fish, ticker symbol ANF. Thanks Uzo for this one. So it bounced on the moving average, 200 moving average, and just rallied all the way up to highs of 171. I can show you that trade as well. I can pull that one on screen as well. But Abercrombie pulled on back today. Nothing wrong with that. I've already taken profit. That's fine with me. Once you see the markets are bearish, once you see stocks are selling on back, selling on down, just take your profits if you're in calls. But the uptrend has been crazy. The overall uptrend with that stock has been brilliant. Same with Netflix. Went from 600 to 700. First week of August, we were down at 600. And every time we pulled on back to the moving average on the 50 minute chart, we just trend higher. It respects the moving average. It shows that it's got bullish momentum. It shows that buyers are continuing to buy it up. So that's how we hit, you know, 708. Now I pulled on back to 7 or 689. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. Still bullish. Look at the one day chart. Still very clearly bullish. Still got a lot of upside potential. And this is one of the stocks. I remember 2022 when it was 400 or under 400. I was saying this is the ideal price point to buy. So hopefully you guys did listen. But now we're going to be working our way back to 700. This is a great chart. It's a beautiful chart. Netflix also brought back crazy returns just by trading the trend. Course to the upside, swinging those. A couple hundred bucks and you're sitting pretty nice, you know, over a grand. Now, of course, swinging is not that easy, but it is one thing we try and focus on in the Discord. Now, just to jump back to Yuhu Finance, NVIDIA CEO Huang sells 40 million in NVIDIA stock almost daily. Interesting. This is why I say you need to also just review the news because these bits of information are actually important. Obviously, that's not great news for the company. I don't think it will affect it too drastically right now, but it could be something which comes to affect it later on if he keeps selling more or if we get even worse news for NVIDIA. But I do think that is a bit strange. Earnings is next week, as I said. So we're looking to NVIDIA's earnings. That's more going to tell us how the quarter went. That's going to give us a better indication of whether we need to be buying or we need to be selling or holding what the situation is. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this week has gone. Definitely thank you guys who have helped me while I was on vacation when it came to trading different calls, puts, Exxon today, Netflix, NVIDIA, Toll Brothers. We saw Toll Brothers go crazy this week as well. A lot of different stocks have helped us out in the Discord. And if you don't know about the Discord or you're not in the Discord, come and check it out. It's that first link in the description. Today we had a live trading session which went really well. So well done to all of you guys who tuned in. That was fun. We made our money. We did what we needed to do. But in the Discord, we talk about stocks. We talk about different patterns. We break them down. We talk about how we expect stocks to move. We do call outs. We have news there. We have a lot of things going on in Discord. So come and check it out. Again, that first link in the description. Second link in the description is the Stock Option Starter Pack. That's where we talk about how stocks function, how options function, different calls, puts, what it means, the terminology, the Greeks, how I trade, how people trade, different trading strategies, the wheel strategy, all that and a lot more. It's three hours and it's 10 different videos, so you'll have access to those videos for life. It's a one-time payment. And of course, make sure you guys, when you do buy the Stock Options Starter Pack, let me know you've bought it because you also get free access to the Discord. And last but not least, make sure you check out all my social media at The Wealth Prince. I'm always active there. You'll see me doing my little post about my vacations, about stocks, about what I'm looking at, all that kind of stuff and more. So check me out on social media as well. And then remember, make sure if you haven't checked out the last couple of vlogs, go check them out. And more importantly, be back here next time for another video. Thanks a lot for watching. I got me making, you got me making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace.